Today's a versus video between the Enfused package versus buying the mesh heads, the symbols, the module, and all that stuff on your own and cobbling all that together. That's coming up. What's up? Justin here. Welcome to 65 Drums, the place to keep on top of all things electronic drum related. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. This is a video that I want to make because a lot of drummers are deciding between buying an all-in-one system like this Enfused Inspire package versus cobbling all the elements together themselves, buying the mesh heads, the triggers, the wires, and you know everything that goes into that sort of thing. It's not a completely fair comparison because we have one product, the Enfused product, that's nailed down in price. It's 1,500 bucks versus doing it on your own, which can range anywhere from $500 all the way up to $5,000, depending on how much money you wanna put into it. I'm gonna get into that in a second, but let's talk about the Enfused option first. So the Enfused Inspire series is an electronic conversion package. It comes with the cymbals, it comes with the pads, and it comes with the drum module and the cables. Everything's ready to go. All you need is headphones and drumsticks, and of course, the acoustic drum shells, because it doesn't come with the drum shells. These are pads that fit on top of your acoustic drums. The great thing is you don't have to remove that Mylar acoustic drum head at all. You literally just throw these on top of the rims. So that does mean it's gonna raise the overall playing surface of your entire drums. So you might have to knock up uh, your, your drum thrown up a couple of inches. But again, that's gonna be on you. It just really depends on your playing style. As far as the pad sizes, it just depends on your drum set because they have pads everywhere from eight inches across all the way up to 16 inches across for the floor toms. So just find the package that fits your drum set. The great thing about the kick drum pad is that it doesn't really need to match a certain size of kick drum. So this one pad will probably work on an 18 inch bass drum, a 22, a 20 inch. It's basically this pad that fits on top of your acoustic kick drum head. You don't have to cut a hole in it like you do for the roll-on conversion set or the pearl conversion set. It's just got this foam piece that sits against that Mylar acoustic kick drum. So yeah, this entire set is really easy to throw on your drums and take off in an instant. Uh, even the drum module doesn't need an extra stand. It literally is connected to your hi-hat stand. Did I mention that the hi-hat pad sits on an acoustic hi-hat stand, which is a nice pro there too as well. So I just really like this system because you know you don't have to go hunting for every individual piece. With the mesh head stuff, which we're gonna talk about in a second, you gotta decide your mesh heads you wanna buy. There's a million options out there. You'd have to decide on the triggers you wanna buy, and there's a million options. You gotta buy all the wires individually. You gotta buy the drum module. You gotta buy the cymbals. Make sure everything's intercompatible and all that stuff. With something like this, it's very, very simple. The one thing that I really have to say about this package is that it's perfect for people that don't wanna play electronic drums 100% of the time. I know on this channel, I focus more on people that just play electronic drums, but reality is that a lot of drummers out there are sort of somewhere in the middle. They play acoustic drums, they also play electronic drums, they wanna switch quickly between the two. And this is a great package for that because let's say for example, you're working on recording a track and you know it's afternoon and before you know it, it's midnight. You can't be playing acoustic drums in your apartment at midnight, so you throw on these, these rubber pads and you keep recording, you keep practicing and you go to sleep, you wake up, you take off the heads in an instant, you're playing acoustic drums again, you don't have to put on any drum heads again. And uh, same with the cymbals, they go on the acoustic cymbal stands, you just swap them out. This is a great package to switch between practicing or doing quick recording sessions with this versus playing acoustic if you would just want to have one drum set that does both really really easily the drum module is better than a lot of other options out there like this drum module sounds better than the, the td11 it sounds better than the yamaha dtx 502 drum module it sounds better than those options it's not like the best drum module out there but it's better than a lot of options so this is running bfd eco light and fused edition so this is a version of drum software out there called BFD. You make all the edits on your computer. So you adjust the gain and effects and all this crap. And then you thumb drive that over to the drum module and magically all the changes that you made on the computer, fine tuning it with the mouse and everything, all those options show up on the drum module kits. So you don't have to worry about doing all this on a screen literally this small. Making all those fine tuned adjustments on a big laptop screen, I think that's a great idea. As far as pricing goes, it costs 1,500 bucks. You can buy another edition that gives you an extra floor tom pad that's a little bit more expensive. If you wanna buy it used, it's 1,000 bucks. That's incredibly cheap to convert your entire acoustic drum set for $1,000 and still get decent sound, still getting large cymbals, you're still getting good playability. Now there's one big Achilles heel of this entire setup and it's the reason why this thing isn't selling like crazy. And I don't blame anybody for this. The, the pads are all rubber. You know, they kind of shot themselves in the foot with this one because 
It's not the most fun playing surface in the world. It's great for practice, it's great for recording, but it's not one of those things where I would buy this package and I would just play this drum set for you know years and years and years. It's not that kind of a conversion package, unfortunately. The, the rubber pads, when you're used to playing on mesh heads or Yamaha DTX silicone pads, this is just not a very inspiring playing surface. You know, nah, whatever, puns. And that's really a shame because this is such a great product and it's selling at a fair price and uh, all these things, but it's just not that fun to play on. And that's one of the big reasons why most people go to mesh pads like me. So let's talk about the competition. We've already framed this one drum set. It's not that expensive. You can upgrade it all you want and you're still gonna be like maybe 2,000 bucks if you add extra pads to it, you know? It, can ha it has 12 inputs on it, okay? So even if you expand it, you're still gonna spend maybe $2,000 at most. So the other way you can go is just doing everything yourself. So go buy a bunch of mesh heads, go buy a bunch of drum triggers, go buy a bunch of cables, tying all that into a drum module, which you have to buy separately, and then buy a bunch of cymbals, and then buy a bunch of rubber rims, and uh, then you're good to go, okay? So there's a lot of steps there. There's a lot of research, and if you're new to electronic drums, uh, this is probably a little bit overwhelming. I'm not claiming to know everything about electronic drums. There are so many things about electronic drums that I don't know. There's tons of products I haven't tested and all kinds of stuff. I don't claim to be the guru, like the ultimate guru out there. There's plenty of people out there that know more than me about electronic drums. But the problem is, whenever you get overly familiar with a concept like electronic drums, you kind of forget how overwhelming it is for brand new people that have never played electronic drums. Uh, you tell them, okay, go buy mesh heads. And then they're like, oh, uh, what mesh heads should I buy? And then you say, oh, okay, well, you can buy the Pearl Muffle heads, you can buy the Drum Tech ones, you can go buy the Joe Becky ones, you can go buy the Billy Blast heads. And, they're, and then they're like, oh, well, what, what's the difference? And then you have to rattle all that off, and it goes down the line for everything. What kind of symbols should I buy? There's a million options. What kind of drum module should I buy? There's a million options. On the low end, maybe $500 to convert an entire acoustic drum set into electronic if you do a lot of things the overly cheap way. So I'm talking about buying a whole set of mesh heads that are one ply. I do not like one ply mesh heads a lot, but some people do. You can buy a whole set for 90 bucks, okay? Remo Silent Stroke right now, a whole set for 90 bucks. You can go buy a bunch of drum triggers, a bunch of $20 drum triggers. I have one lying around here somewhere. So the Red Shot ones, uh, the Simmons ones, you can buy a whole set of those for you know $20 a piece if you wanna go ultra cheap. You can go buy a drum module used off of eBay, an old, Roland TD3 or something if you want for 150 bucks. You can go buy crappy cheap cymbals, you know what I mean? So there, there's the cheap way to do it. You can do this entire thing for 500 bucks if you scrounge, if you build your own triggers and everything. But you also have the other option, going in the complete 180 opposite direction and buying the ultimate setup, buying the best mesh drum heads. Right now it looks like Drum Tech makes the best drum, he drum heads. Um, buying the best drum triggers. It kind of looks like our drums makes the best triggers at the moment. Um, buying the best cymbals, that would probably be ATV at the moment. Buying the best cables, buying the best drum module, you could probably buy the Mimic, that's probably the best drum module, that or the TD50 at the moment. So you can spend as much money as you want. You can spend $10,000 building your ultimate electronic drum set. If you wanna see a video where I went and built my dream electronic drum set, I'll link that in the description below. It's really, really fun to watch that. It's called How to Go Broke Buying an Electronic Drum Set where I really went overboard on everything I bought for that dream electronic drum set. The point I was trying to make there is that there's a lot of flexibility with your bank account. If you don't have much money, there's still ways to do it, you're just not gonna get great results. If you have a lot of money, you can get ultimate results that blow way, way past whatever this Inspire uh, drum set conversion package is capable of. So that's one of the great things about this, flexibility. The second thing is that every single option is in your hands. You can build this drum set to your specifications. If you want really thick mesh drum heads, they're out there. If you want really bouncy mesh drum heads, they're out there. You decide how accurate the drum set's going to be by what kind of triggers you buy. You decide how the cymbals feel because you can decide on what model and what brand of cymbals to buy. You can decide how the drum module sounds because different module brands, you know, Roland doesn't sound like Yamaha. Yamaha doesn't sound like Pearl. 
Pearl doesn't sound like Elisa's. You can decide on the tone, you know? So it's like an infinite amount of options that are all on your fingertips. With the Enfused idea, you're just doing a one size fits all option. But one thing also to keep in mind is that if you're doing this, it's probably going to be a semi long term change to your acoustic drum shells because it takes time to take off all of your drum heads and then put the acoustic ones back on. And if you want to remove the brackets and the triggers on the inside, you're going to have to take out a screwdriver. All of that's annoying and it takes time. It's a lot quicker and easier to use your infused pads and put them on and take them off if you want to do it that way. So that's one annoying thing about using mesh heads. There are other options out there on the market other than infused and using mesh heads. So I want to wrap up this section and get onto those third party options in a second. But in general, if you want to have an acoustic drum set that you also use as an electronic drum set, and you want to be able to switch fast in between them, Enfuse is definitely the way to go. It's inexpensive. It's a thousand bucks if you buy it used, $1,500 if you buy it new. It's a great option. One, uh, one situation that comes to mind is that there's someone on YouTube that makes drumming videos, and this person is going to be moving to an apartment. They have to go electronic for about six months, okay? They've decided to buy the Enfuse package. You know, keep making videos with their acoustic drums, but using the Enfused package. And then when they move out of that apartment in six months, they're going back to acoustic. Enfused is perfect for that. On the other hand, if you want to play electronic drums for the next five years, probably going with mesh heads and converting it that way is a good way to go as well. I also need to mention as a disclaimer that there are companies out there that will sell you the drum heads, the triggers, the cymbals, and the drum module, and the wires all together as a package. One company that comes to mind is Pintech. They have this drum set where they, they even give you the drum shells and it's like 1,700 bucks, I believe, with the cap percussion drum module. So there are options to do it, to buy it as an all-in-one package, okay? But in general, most of the time, people will build the mesh drum set themselves by hand. That's why, that's the mentality I, I'm going at with this video though. So just wanted to make that disclaimer. There are all-in-one options with mesh heads if you want to go that way as well. So in general, Enfused is great for switching back and forth. And uh, the mesh head option is great for long-term purchases. Now let's go over to third-party options because Enfused isn't the only company, okay? Also another big player is Aquarian. Believe it or not, they have on-head pads. These are pads that go on top of your acoustic drum heads, just like Enfused, except for the fact that they don't have a rim zone, which is the reason why I don't really recommend these products. You plug the Aquarian pad into this trigger box and the trigger box plugs into your drum module. So you've got this extra middleman, this extra step. It's because of the triggering method on the inside of the pads, which is supposed to be better than your standard piezo unit. You know, I don't know a ton about that, so I'm not gonna say whether or not it actually is or not. The thing that's going against it though, is that there's no rim zone. Now there's probably a way to modify or add a rim zone with a piezo or something, but in general, there's just no rim zone if you buy it out of the box as is. And that's one of the things holding it back. It's very fun to play. I played it two years ago at Sweetwater Gear Fest. It's got a great playing surface. It sort of feels like the Yamaha DTX silicone pads. I really do like the way they feel. But again, that rim zone missing is killing me. Also, it's not an all-in-one package. It, you'd have to buy the cymbals, you'd have to buy the drum module. So it doesn't really fit into the discussion here, but I did want to mention it because people will mention it in the comments if I don't talk about it. Also want to mention the Pearl ePro Live conversion package, which is probably the closest version of the Enfused package. Now, unfortunately, you do have to take off your acoustic drum heads to use this, okay? Want to mention that. You take off the acoustic drum heads, you put these pads on, they're white, they have a decent feel to them. It's, not, it's nothing really to write home about. Again, they're not as fun to play as mesh heads. It's just my personal opinion. And uh, it does come with the drum module. It's not as good as the Enfuse drum module. It's not as modern. It doesn't sound as good. The cymbals are made by Medelli. I'm not a big fan of Medelli cymbals. So those are reasons why I don't really recommend this package. And it's not as quick to transform back to acoustic drums if you want. You have to put the acoustic drum heads back on your drums. So yeah, those things go against it. And that's why I prefer the Enfuse package when recommending stuff to people. Just because I don't recommend them doesn't mean they're not right for you. Everyone has a different situation. So maybe those are the perfect packages for you. If you own any of the products I'm talking about, feel free to leave comments down below about your experience, how well it's worked for you in the past. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in a few.